Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Guys, today we have some huge news that dropped into the game. Brand new Ultimate Ticket items are now in packs, guys. These are supposed to be the best cards that come out basically all year. Uh, so obviously this is like one of the best promos that they do throughout the season Definitely one of the things that people spend the most coins on trying to pull the most money on trying to pull and these cards go for a ton of coins all year long um, So obviously guys, we're gonna try and pull some packs today to get some of these ultimate ticket cards First thing though, I want to hop in here and take a look at the auction block um, I want to show you guys the ones that are currently up on the auction house right now um, Cheapest one right now as far as the new ultimate ticket cards looks like it is dangerous Damian Swan going for 1.7 million. Obviously, he is a cornerback. Um, so that one, you know, decent card. We, we assume this would probably be one of the cheaper ones because he's not one of the marquee players. Uh, he's definitely like somebody's favorite player or something like that. Um, the guy who made this, I'm assuming. Uh, so, you know, definitely something to keep in mind as far as that goes. But uh, as we go on here, we also have the middle linebacker, Rob Gronkowski, which obviously, guys, this card is very, very good because of the height. Six foot six at middle linebacker along with 88 speed. Um, and that one just sold, it looks like, or else I guess maybe it didn't sell. Maybe it ran out on time. But um, you guys can see here, prices on these are pretty damn high. 1.7 million, the cheapest one. We've also got a Mike Evans here. And I might actually be having the guy who created this Mike Evans uh, come on here and talk a little bit about why he's actually disappointed in what EA did as far as his ultimate ticket goes so uh, just run through the attributes here real quick for you guys here um, great jumping on this card all of those types of things obviously amazing catching but like his hit power and stuff it's, it's solid it's 92 it's not amazing though uh, so you know something to keep in mind as far as that goes we might be able to have him on here to talk about that possibly tomorrow so be sure to stop on back I don't know if that's for sure gonna happen but definitely could um, we've also got Anthony Barr here we've got uh, let's see here Derek Henry this one's obviously a beast guys the bruising back chemistry this card's going for 2.2 million right now um, one of the things that I found that was interesting is they gave this card a pick specialist chemistry which does actually affect his catching as well as his speed so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, that's why they gave him a defensive chemistry on offense. A little bit weird. I had to ask on Twitter because I was like, why the hell would somebody choose that as their chemistry? It makes sense to give him a little bit of speed increase. The problem that I have with it is that I think EA probably just nerfed his speed one. So like, yeah, you might get the one boost, but really it's just negating the chemistry, if that makes sense. Like if you wouldn't have put that chemistry on there, I bet they would have given him 93 speed for example. So, you know, I, I question that decision. I don't know for sure on that, but I wouldn't be surprised if EA did that because they don't want to have freaking Derrick Henry out here with like 96 speed, like just shitting on people, running everybody over. Um, we've also got a Sammy Watkins here that has some nice chemistries, tip drill chemistry. I think that's what that is, if I remember correctly. The T, let me double check. Yeah, tip drill, tip drill chemistry. We've got gun, Gunslinger on Marcus Mariota. We also have a Terrell Pryor. This is the most expensive of the wide receivers right now. This thing's going for 3.35 milli, 95 speed, 95 spec catch, great catching attributes across the board, obviously. He's also six foot four, so that's a big advantage as well. I believe there's also a Brandon Marshall. I don't know if I saw him on here. Uh, I don't think I saw him, but I know that there was one up earlier, so that one must have sold or else ran out on time, but um, either way, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to open up some packs. They actually have some new packs in the game as well. Um, you guys can see them here. We're going to open up the 11-pack bundle, which now normally, guys, I would say do not open bundles, and still, I'm going to stand by that and say don't open bundles. I had points left over, so I had to add like 500 or something like that uh, to get this, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and actually open up this pack. So it might be the last bundle opening that I do on this game this year possibly we'll see how it goes but uh, 11 boosted all pro pack bundled now these boosted all pro packs actually give you better odds at opening ulti ultimate ticket players it actually says that in there so we don't know how much better odds. It could be like 1% better or something, but it does say that they're boosted odds. So that's good. They're the same price as the standard all pro packs as well. So I like that as well. You can purchase them right now for coins 35K, or of course you can buy them for 350 each. But we are gonna do the 11 pack bundle. So uh, we're basically getting 11 packs for the price of 10 essentially. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Hopefully we can get some good stuff today, guys. I have not opened up many packs in this game lately because 
they're just terrible to be honest with you like as far as the odds go uh, so we're gonna see if we can get anything good out of these I bet I don't even pull any freaking elites like I bet that happens to me in this we get a muck gear collectible there we get a Rodney Hudson and a Stephon Gilmore so out of the first pack absolutely terrible big big time shocker there big shocker all right we're not gonna get too we're not gonna be too depressed about it I promise like if I don't pull anything good like it is what it is but I would like to pull uh, an ultimate ticket that would be freaking amazing I've never pulled an ultimate ticket or a golden ticket in previous years um, at least I don't think I have I'm trying to remember I don't think I've, I'm pretty sure I've never pulled a golden ticket um, I've definitely played with a lot of golden tickets in the past but I don't think I've ever pulled one um, definitely bought a lot of them off the auction house as well because like I said before they're definitely the best cards that are in the game each year so um, it's gonna be interesting to see because some of the stats on these or the attributes on these cards aren't as overwhelming as we remember them being in the past now they did change them some, some things this year they changed it from that uh the attributes could go up to like 105 or whatever now they're all maxed out at 99 so that does change things quite a bit if you really think about it because if they can only go up to a 99 then you pretty much have to consider that what it was 103 in the past for example would now be like a 97 just just to correlate that you can't directly compare the old guys to the new guys because then all the attributes would just be maxed out at 99 so um i think that's a little bit interesting and we get an elite here and it's a freaking base elite that's so brutal really was hoping there i was really hoping man i was really hoping we would get something but that's like the only elite we've pulled so far. We did get four golds or better out of this pack, including also this Campus Hero collectible, but um, not enough, unfortunately. Not enough to even make that worth even remotely close to even 35k, so that's a little bit unfortunate. We do get a Case Keenum here. Team of the Week card, but that's super, super old at this point. We get another elite here, baby. Let's go! And it's a Ryan Khalil. Another freaking base elite, damn it. Come on. Those... Those freaking animations are still, they still get you. They still get you, especially when you're trying to pull something really epic like we are here. I don't know how many packs I've already opened. I think I've already opened up more than half of them. So it's a little bit disappointing here that we haven't even pulled anything worth like 25K even. But like it's brutal at this point. We get something here and it's a freaking ultimate legend, or not even an ultimate legend, a flashback collectible Andy Levitre, AKA Bill's guard guy. We do get another base elite here, Mike uh, Mike Daniel. So three packs in a row with a base elite, unfortunately. But uh, man, nothing really great out of these packs. How many golds here? Two, three, and then I guess this doesn't count as a gold slot. But all right, let's keep it going, guys. Let's keep it going. I don't know how many packs we've got left. Should we go from the backside? We haven't really had great luck going straight on. Kelvin Benjamin there, Sam Macho. We're not even getting, like, the players. We're not even getting, like, the troll. You know what I mean? Like, where you would pull, like, a Brandon Marshall or something like that when he's the limited edition card. We get four golds here. We're getting four golds out of a lot of these packs, which is kind of interesting. But still not enough, unfortunately. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Lev Bell. Well, at least that's a decent elite card. That one's at least worth, like, 20k, I think, or something like that. Um, but still. Not great value, unfortunately. Eric Winston. Everson Griffin. Damn, I thought that Le'Veon Bell was it, man. I really did. Another four, another pack with four elites. I'm pretty sure you're only guaranteed three elites out of these all-pro packs. So, at least we're getting a little bit lucky with that. But they're still not worth a whole lot, unfortunately. We still haven't pulled anything that's worth, like, a damn, unfortunately, here. Ryan Kerrigan. Derek Wolf, Another elite here. Let's do it. Darius Slay. Another base elite. EA is just on full-on troll mode right now. I came into the video saying, though, that I probably wouldn't even pull a base elite. So... I guess that's better. This is the last pack, guys. This is it. This is it. Are we going to actually pull something? Olivier Vernon. Let's go from the backside. Let's go from the backside. I feel like that's going to give me better luck. I don't know. I don't know. Casey Hayward. Packers home jersey. And we get in the lead here. This is the final chance. And it's another freaking base elite. Damn it. Ah, oh, come on, man. So, unfortunately, we pulled like six or seven base elites. But no ultimate ticket, no limited edition anything. I think those are the only limited editions currently in packs. But there you have it, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything good out of our pack opening. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments section below. First of all, number one, what do you think about the ultimate tickets in general? Are you disappointed in them? Do you think that they're good? Um, are they the best cards that are in the game at their positions right now? Because a lot of people are saying they're not even the best necessarily at their positions, which is 
out of the, the norm, I guess, uh, from previous years, because typically those golden tickets when they were dropped were immediately the best card at their position, like without question. Uh, so it's a little bit disappointing on that end of things. But uh, also let me know if you guys pulled a bundle or if you're pulling these packs, if you pulled anything good. I did see one of the other YouTubers, I'm not going to mention who, actually I will, Visionary. Go check out Visionary's channel, I think he'll probably have a pretty decent pull. So uh, go, out, go out there and check out that, I'm not going to give away who he pulled, but he definitely pulled something beastly. So check that out guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And with that said guys, we're going to wrap up this video, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.